shout hallelujah. This is the first day of the ninth month of the year. Somebody who's alive and who's grateful to the almighty God. Shout hallelujah. Today is the first day of the new RCCG year. Wave your hand and shout hallelujah. Amen. We are all welcomed in the mighty name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Right now, while we remain standing, we will receive into this auditorium our new national overseer, Pastor Sunday Edward Akande, and his dear wife, Pastor Mrs. Abimbola Akande. They will be led in by the boys' brigade. So please, the brigade, we are ready to receive our new NO. Please, we can come in right now. Sorry, please, you may take your seats as the, as the day come in. Let's keep on having the keyboard sign. Thank you for your patience. It's indeed a brand new day. New joy, no new glory. And that will be your story this new year in the name of Jesus.
please shall we all rise? Let's rise in honor of the Most High God.
Thank you very much. Members of the Boys Brigade and the Redemption Chaplains International. The Boys Brigade will be handing over their flag to our new national overseer, Pastor Sunday Edward Akande, and his dear wife, Pastor Mrs. Abimbola Akande. Let somebody shout, Hallelujah! At this juncture, I'd like to invite the Assistant General Overseer in charge of the elders, Pastor David Kuo, to take the opening prayer. Let's clap our hands for the Lord Jesus. Our Father in heaven, we want to thank you. Blessed be to your holy name. Accept our thanks in the name of Jesus. Father, we commit this welcome service into your hands. Take absolute control in the name of Jesus. Direct us, surprise us, do everything for us. At the close of everything today, let your name only be more glorified. Thank you, Father. Blessed be to your holy name. I declare this service open in the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Let someone who is in the house shout a louder hallelujah. Please, you may take your seat, as we appreciate our beloved daddy, Pastor D.G. Kuo. Thank you very much, sir. Just as we take our seats, let me use this opportunity to welcome every one of us in the house. The living God will give you uncommon blessings this new RCCG year in the name of Jesus Christ. But especially, please, help me... Praise God with a clap of hands as we welcome all our retired AGOs and their spouses. You are welcome. Daddies and mommies, the Lord bless you. The Almighty God will keep you. Amen. And uh, join me also as we welcome the immediate past national overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Nigeria, Pastor Joseph Obayemi. And mommy, you are welcome, sir. God bless you, sir. Amen. We welcome members of the Board of Trustees. I can see Professor Abuaba and the other distinguished members of the Board of Trustees. That is, and mommy, you are welcome. Amen. We'd like to welcome also our own Assistant General Overseer and Continental Overseer for Continent 3. Pastor Johnson Funshaw Deshola. Let's clap our hands for Jesus. We welcome all our senior pastors from far and near. We welcome the Akade family. We welcome everybody. Just help me wave to somebody and say, God bless you, you are welcome. God bless you, you are welcome. And please remember to tell them, Happy New Month. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. At this point, we'll be taking the aim for today's service and pressing on the upward way. It's a prophetic song, it's a declarative song, 
on this first day of the nine months, on this first day of the new redeemed year, on this first day when a new national overseer is assuming duties. Shall we please rise as the choir will lead us in that aim? Hallelujah. Shall we please rise on our feet as we take the only hymn, the only hymn for this service, the only hymn for this service, I'm pressing on the upward way.
Hallelujah. We know that the new national overseer is already in the house, but he has to be formally welcomed to this service, and he has to be formally welcomed to Redemption Camp. Praise ye the Lord. And to quickly do that, we be the special assistant to the general overseer in charge of administration, Pastor Dele Balogun. Let's clap our hands for Jesus. Let someone shout hallelujah. Go ahead and shout hallelujah. I like to welcome our daddy and mommy, the new national overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Pastor and Pastor Mrs. Sunday. Edward Akonde, I want you to please rise, sir and ma, as I present you to the house. Put your hands together. Please, can you come, sir? Ma? Keep on clapping as they come. Jam your hands together. Let's appreciate the grace of God upon their lives. Pastor Mrs. Essie Akonde, you are welcome, sir, and you are welcome, ma'am. song for you. have come down. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's keep clapping our hands. Heaven is coming down. Heaven is coming down mightily. Glory be to the name of the Lord. Hallelujah.
Somebody shout to be Galilee. Hallelujah. Shout to be Galilee. Hallelujah. We did the Department's Fellowship. Region 12 and Region 32. We are here this morning to present to you and to thank God and praise God. On behalf of our Father in the law, our Daddy, the National Overseer of this great mission, as you listen with rapt attention, may the Lord bless you in Jesus' name. God bless you.
let's clap our hands for this wonderful man. Even as we welcome our mommies, the women fellowship, the wonderful voices from heaven. Let's clap our hands for these daughters of Zion. I know you continue to clap. Hallelujah. You are welcome to the redeemed Christian church of God. The redemption city of God. It is a knowing dawn today. Today is the real day. You are welcome. Old has passed away, new has come in. And at the gate, you, you either join us as a only living person or you move out. Hallelujah. She opted to go out. She refused to come to the mercy side. Eka bo enya rabi ori ati arabu mbo le timbo. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I fell love. I fell love here. Oh, national overseer ati to be ni eka bo. Shuba e le wale ba yi. Redeem Christian Church of God to turn e yi. So teba fe wa ni pati olorun e godo yi pada. O birin a je o birin okunrin a je okunrin. Hallelujah. redemption city of God. Okay, Okay. 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 Okay.
Let's clap our hands for Jesus. Somebody shout hallelujah. The children and teens, quickly, children and teens, quickly, you have only five minutes. The children and teens. children of the Redemption City. We welcome our daddy and our mommy. We congratulate them and we felicitate with them on this special day. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's time for us to listen to the word of life. And to give the word of life today will be our assistant general overseer and continental overseer in charge of continent three, Pastor Jeff Odeshola. But before he comes in, the choir will minister. God bless you as you listen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Spirit of God is here. The presence of God is here. We can see Him. We can sense Him. We can feel Him. He's everywhere here. He's everywhere.
Aleluya. Aleluya. Olorun to dawo. Okei gbani. Eini ati ope awafu. Olorun. Olorun to dawo. Okei the king of glory the lord of lord the unchangeable changer the ancient of day who is fond of doing new things we say thank you today thank you for this service welcoming your son into this place formally he lives here he works here but lord today is a different day we say thank you Lord, as we have come to witness this, O oh God, we ask that the abode of God, the tabernacle of God, Emmanuel himself, he will be with us in the name of Jesus. Now the few words that my fathers and my mothers have asked me to bring here today by their enablements, I pray that we not irritate the people. All of us will get something to go home with. Thank you, everlasting Father. Blessed be your holy name. When we finish our race on earth, may we be able to reign with you. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' most mighty name, we pray. And let the people of God shout a big amen. I want to appreciate all my fathers and my mother for giving this young man a privilege to bring the word out of uh, many ministers who are theologically balanced, homiletically correct, and um, theoretically on top. And it's my belief that you will continue to work stronger in the Lord for us in Jesus' name. And we welcome our daddy, the new national overseer, the Lord will continually keep you in the name of Jesus. Let us say a better amen. amen. Matthew chapter 1 verse 23 Matthew chapter 1 verse 23. Behold, a virgin shall be with a child and shall bring forth a son and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which being interpreted is God with us. Some, may the Lord bless the reading and hearing of the word in the name of Jesus. I'm going to say something about God with us or making it a personal God with you. God be with you. Now from time in memoria, God had wanted to be with human beings. It is his desire to be with mankind. The purpose of making a man is that he might be with them, fellowshipping with the almighty God. He put the man in the garden of Eden and keep visiting. Even when man veers away, he made an arrangement for redemption. He sent his only begotten son to reconcile us. Why would, why would God want to be with man? Why did he desire that he would be, he want to be with man? Because the nature of God is the nature of love. He has this unspeakable love. In the book of Jeremiah chapter 31 and verse 3, Jeremiah chapter 31 and verse 3, the Bible said, God has loved us with an everlasting love. In John chapter 3 verse 16, John 3 16, the word said, for God so loved the world, he gave 
his only begotten son. In Romans chapter 5 and verse 8, Romans chapter 5 verse 8, he said, he said, God commended his love towards us. And while we are here sinner, he keep looking for us. And the apostle of love called John in first, first John chapter 3 from verses 1 to 3. First John 3, 1 to 3. The word of the Lord said that he, what manner of love he has loved us. And because the nature of this God is love, that's why he became our shepherd. Psalm 23, verse 1. God is our shepherd. Because his nature is love. That's why Jeremiah 29, 11, Jeremiah 29, 11 said, I have plans for your life. Because of his love, that's why he made us Royal priesthood, peculiar person. First Peter 2 9. First Peter 2 9. And when you talk about the God we are talking about, who is this God? This God is the Almighty. Almighty God. And that is when you read the book of Genesis, chapter 17. Genesis 17, he said, I am the Almighty God. And because he's the Almighty God, is sufficient for all our needs. It's sufficient for everything we may ever need. It's sufficient for physical needs. It's sufficient for healing. It's sufficient for prosperity. It's sufficient for deliverance. It's sufficient to defend us. It's sufficient this same God to give us peace and joy. Psalm 16 verse 11, Psalm 16 verse 11, in his presence is the fullness of joy. It's sufficient to anoint for the service that God has called everyone into. It's sufficient for your total rest. It's sufficient for your total victory and dominion. This God is sufficient for guidance and leading. Is sufficient for trials, for challenges, for tribulations. In Isaiah chapter 43, verse 1 and 3. Isaiah chapter 43, verses 1 and 3. He said, when you go through the phases of life, through all the journey of life, hills, mountain, riverside, he's always with you. And this is the point I want to zero in and I will leave the mic. You don't preach to a preacher and you don't preach to an evangelist. You just say a few words from the book of wisdom that God has given to us. What are the benefits of God being with you? Of God being with us? Let me mention only three and I will draw the curtain. Number one, which this God with us, you can face every situation of life with courage and with assurance. For this God and the assurance he made in where we read, Emmanuel, God with us, both the, the new national overseer and every other one that is set on a new assignment, you can face every situation of your life with courage and assurance. The Lord said to Joshua when he was afraid, he came to him in Joshua chapter 1, verses 3, verses 5, uh, I mean, verses 3, 5, and 9. But I'm going to read only one verse, verse 9. And the Lord said to him, be courageous, because I am there. Look at what he said, Joshua 1, 9. Have I not commanded you, be strong, and be of a good courage. Do not be afraid, nor dismay, for the Lord, your God, is with you, with us wherever you go. You haven't walked in this terrain before, but the leader of the terrain is there. The first, the last, 
and the middle, the up, the down, and the sideways is always there. So with that assurance, I mean, with that, with that particular assurance with you, you can be courageous to travel. Number two, with God with us, you don't have to be worried. You don't have to worry about being overcome by failure. With God with us, you don't have to worry about being overcome by failure. Life is full of uncertainty. But only God knows what is ahead. Because human beings are prone to fear. In 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 7, 2 Timothy 1, 7, the, master, the, 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 the Bible said to us, you have not been given the spirit of fear, but of love and of sound mind in Jesus Christ. Life is full of uncertainty, but there is the one they call the beginning, the middle and the ending, the light of the world, the way, the key and the door. So, we can walk through it. In Isaiah chapter 41 and verse 10, Isaiah 41 and verse 10, Fear not, for I am with, with thee. Be not dismayed. I am your God. I will strengthen you. Yea, I will help you. I will uphold you with the right hand of my righteousness. In Jeremiah chapter 15 verse 20, Jeremiah 15 20, For I am with you to save you and to deliver you, says the Lord. There are many things to fear about the haunting shadow of the past, the present challenges, and the uncertainty of the future. But God is both at the back, is both in the middle, and is both ahead. You know what Jesus, the master said? The word from the beginning himself, John 1, John 1, 1, the beginning was the word, the word was with God. The truth and life, John 14, 6, John 14, 6, you know what he said? In Matthew chapter 28 and verse 20, Matthew 28, 20, he said, I will be with you to the close of the day. That has been put in the irreversible past tense of the word of God. So, God be with you. God will travel with you. You don't have to be worried about being overcome by failure. And lastly, number three, with God with yours, you can be spiritually successful even in difficult places of life. God with you, God with us, you can be spiritually successful even in difficult situations of life. Isaiah chapter 43, 1 to 3. I like that particular passage. Any day, any time. Isaiah 43, 1 to 3. I may not know what the future holds, but I know who holds the future. And the one who holds the future is our friend, a guide, a shepherd, a savior, a redeemer, a counselor, unchangeable changer, ever loving, ever faithful, ever giving and forgiving. I know we may not be certain of what the future holds, but there is the one who controls time and season. He controls time and season, but he lives outside the season. He said in Isaiah 43, 1 to 3, but now thus says the Lord who created you, please permit me to put my name, you can put your own name, but for us says the Lord who created you, O Jacob, and who formed you, O Israel, fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by your name. You are mine. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. Through the river, they shall not overflow you. When you walk through the fire, you shall not be born, nor shall the flames scorch you. For I am the Lord, I am the Lord your God, the only one of Israel. Knowing this to give you a comfort. No, not what the master himself said. Jesus Christ, the Son of God, the Savior. In the book of John 16, 33. John 16, 33. He said, in your assignment and in this world, 
you will have tribulation. But he says, smile, be cheerful. Because I have overcome the word for you. And because you are overcomer, then, I mean, because he, he overcame, you are an overcomer too. But that is applicable to those who belong to God. If you belong to his, congratulations, you are the one he's talking to. But if you are yet to surrender your life, or you just join, because this is a very dynamic train that is moving to glory land, and let me join them, and you are not really, the hope of glory is not in you. Because Jesus is you, is the hope of glory. You can make it a day today as we welcome the man of God into his base. Let's bow our head and pray. You are there, just tell the Lord, travel with me as I journey in life. Travel with me in all my assignment. And if you are here to give your life, I will be praying in another few minutes. And I want you to really throw in the towel. Or you want to rededicate your life. Make it a day. This is the day that God has made. You should rejoice and be glad in it. It's your day. Let's begin to ask the Lord. Thank you, Father. If you are here, you are here to give your life, or you want to dedicate your life, all you need to do for me is to put your hand on your chest, and I'm going to pray. And if you are on this journey, nothing is at stake. Just tell the Lord, give me more fire. Refuel me. Refill me. So that I can relaunch. Refill me. So that I can relaunch, that I can rebounce. Refill me. Thank you, Father. Lord, thank you for the word of God, the bread of life. The Bible said, the entrance of your word, give it light and give it understanding to the simple. Jehovah God, we thank you for what we are doing today. It's not accidental. You knew it, you ordained it, you permitted it, and there's something you want to bring out. Everyone, oh God, that this word has addressed, and they are rededicating their life, please receive them again and refill them again in the name of Jesus. And all the brothers and sisters, men and women, fathers and mothers who are standing in the Lord, increase their fire, refresh their anointing in the name of Jesus. And Father, as we travel on this road, may we finish strong, may we finish well. We refuse to fail and fall. And when the road comes up in heaven, or by reason, of our expiration of time, you take us home by dead, may we be able to reign with you. In Jesus' most mighty name, we pray. And let the people of God shout a big amen. Shout hallelujah. Thank you very much, sir, for the word of life. It is a prayer that the living God will increase his grace upon your life day by day in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. It's uh, the dawn of a new day. Something new is happening this first day of a new month, the first day of the new RCCG year. A man who had always lived here in the camp is being welcomed to the camp. And officially, the camp has become a city. Hallelujah. It's my honor and privilege at this point to invite our immediate past national overseer, Pastor Joseph Obayemi. To step forward and pray for his successor. Let's clap our hands for Jesus. Let somebody shout hallelujah. Do you see what I am seeing? God will do a new thing in your life in Jesus' name. I want our esteemed national overseer and beloved wife
to kindly proceed to the altar for corporate blessings. I know that he is praying for you, and his prayer shall be answered over you in Jesus' name. Kindly stretch up your hand towards them and wish them well. That God will be with them as we have heard. He will walk with them. They will not fail. They will not fall. Please prophesy to their life and remember the law of affairs. Whatever you say now is coming back to you double. So pray for them. That God will keep them. We watch over them. Watch over their family. Watch over the ministry God has committed to their hands. Pray for them, brethren. This is the time they have been waiting for. That God will renew their strength. We renew the anointing. God himself will be glorified in everything they do. Thank you, Father. Let's be bringing our prayer to a close now as we pray. Father Almighty, we want to thank you for today. What a good God you are. What a kind Father you are. The one who knew the end from beginning. Today is the beginning of a new day, a new month, a new calendar year in Redeemed Christian Church of God, and you are doing a new thing. You are starting with this today. Indeed, this is a new phase in your mission. Take all the glory in the name of Jesus. Thank you for keeping your children. Thank you for watching over them. Thank you for helping them so far. Thank you for all the places they have gone to. You have been there for them. This is another phase in their life, another assignment and responsibility. They cannot do it alone. Father, support them in the name of Jesus. Help them in the name of Jesus. Walk with them in the name of Jesus. Walk for them in the name of Jesus. Walk through them in the name of Jesus. Father, in their own time, do a new thing in the name of Jesus. Move them forward in the name of Jesus. We decree at this glorious altar that God Almighty will be your backup in Jesus' name. You will not fail in Jesus' name. You will not fall in Jesus' name. God will increase your strength. He will increase your grace. He will increase your patience. He will increase your wisdom. He will increase your knowledge in the name of Jesus. Every resource that you needed to succeed in this new assignment released to you now in the name of Jesus. We decree also, no cancer of the wicked will stand against you in Jesus' name. If there's any device of the crafty against you concerning this assignment, by the blood of the Lamb, we frustrate them in the name of Jesus. You go from victory to victory in Jesus' name. You move from glory to glory in Jesus' name. And the glory of God will radiate your life in Jesus' name. We radiate your family in Jesus' name. We radiate your ministry in Jesus' name. And every prayer we are praying for you today, and the one that is praying for you, God will answer by fire in the name of Jesus. Each time we hear of you, it shall be good news. When you hear of us, it shall be good news. Together, we shall make heaven in Jesus' name. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Praise the Lord. Congratulations. Please, DHO, please. Your attention is needed here. Pastor Deshola. I have it. Mommy, 
Oh, we thank God the age and continental overseer for continent two. Pastor Eo de Emi, Nadiko. Celebrate the faithfulness of God. Hallelujah. You may please take your seats. Now, before the next item, let me make an announcement very important. All members of the Technical Advisory Board should please note that there will be a meeting of the board immediately after this meeting are here in House of Favor in the conference room. All members of Technical Advisory Board, please take note. A meeting of the board will be taking place immediately after now at the conference room of House of Favor, and the chairman, Professor Fola Abuaba, will be presiding. Praise ye the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. It's my privilege at this point to invite the pastor in charge of region, region 12, Pastor Richard Adeboye, to take the next item. In your life, I am in no fear. I am in the Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. It is with great pleasure and honor that we want to please invite our daddy and mommy, the National Vassal of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, as we welcome them to Redemption City. Hallelujah. May I also invite the APICR and pastor in charge of Ogun Province 4, Pastor Williams, to step forward. Let's clap our hands for Jesus. Hallelujah. Somebody lift your two hands and shout a big hallelujah. The Lord is good. Thank you. I have the privilege to call on our Father in the Lord, the 
national overseer of the redeemed Christian Church of God and to present just a token of our love uh, both for Ogun Province 4 and uh, for this place, House of Favor Parish. Daddy and Mommy, you are welcome in Jesus' name. So on behalf of Ogun Province 4 and uh, House of Favor, we welcome you, sir. Mommy, on behalf of Ogun Province 4 and House of Favor, we welcome you. God forever. Let somebody clap your hands and celebrate this God. We'd like to invite the national overseer, Pastor Sunday Edward Akande, and his dear wife. Pastor Akande is too much, but if he's there for the King of Kings, for the Lord of Law, for the I am that I am, for the all sufficient God, I think we have not started. Let somebody shout hallelujah. Supporter, Jesus is my supporter. Jesus is my supporter. I am not afraid. My supporter. Hallelujah. Amen. Please, let's be seated. I want to start by giving glory to the Almighty God, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the only one that decree, and no one can discern all, the one that qualifies the unqualified. To all Glory be the Almighty. For his mercy, for his grace, and for his love over us. I also want to thank our parents, our daddy and mommy Gio. We are eternally grateful for their trust 
and confidence in us to have considered us for this great position. Daddy and Mommy, we say thank you. We appreciate God in your life. And we know by the grace of God and your prayer for us, we will not disappoint you. To all our fathers and mothers, the age you present, a governing council, the retired age you present, my dear father in the Lord, Daddy Lori, and all our mommies, Daddy Ko, we appreciate God in your life. We thank God for you, sirs, all the governing council present, all the member of trustee present, we say thank you for your prayers and love for us. I would like to especially appreciate our outgoing, or do I say outgoing? He's outgoing. I don't call him outgoing. He's still my father. He's, I am following after him. Uh, there, daddy, daddy Obayemi, I appreciate God in your life, sir. You have been a wonderful leader. And I want to thank God for the opportunity to work with you closely as my continental overseer. I appreciate God in your life. I thank God for my father, my friend, my mentor, Pastor Deemi. Thank God for your life, sir. I appreciate God for your life. And my dear friend, my dear friend, the, the outgoing or outgone age you at me, Pastor G.F. Odashola, you have been a wonderful man of God. Thank God for your word, for the word of God that Lord used, that sent through you this morning. Thank God for our mommy, Mommy Odashola. We appreciate God in your life. You have been a wonderful leader. And we thank God for you. We thank God for keeping you. And we pray even as we move forward to continental assignment, the Lord Almighty will go with you. We pray for our daddy, the Adgon National Overseer, the Lord will continue to renew your strength, sir. You will continue to refire. And you will always be there for us because you always come to your door. God Almighty will keep you. I want to thank God for today, the National Secretariat the region, the province who organized this welcome service. Thank God for you. I appreciate you, uh, their regional pastor, Pastor Adeboye, and the provincial pastor. We thank God for your life. Thank God for your promotion, too. And all the ministers in Ogun Province 12, I say thank you to you all. May the Almighty God bless you. And I want to thank God and thank you so much, the RMF Choir, the Kingdom Women Choir, and the Main Choir for that wonderful rendition. The Lord Almighty will keep you. And so I've come to join you here in camp. Though we are resident in camp, but now we are now full resident in camp. As we come to join you in camp, <laughs> We believe our fellowship will be wonderful together in Jesus' name. And I want to appreciate the chaplain, the boys' brigade, and everybody here today. The boys' brigade, the chaplain, and all my colleagues. When I say my colleagues, all the senior pastors here, I appreciate you all. With just a short notice, you are able to make it. I say thank you to you all. God will bless you. And I must not forget my children all the way from Delta State. They are here. I thank you. Even within that short notice, you are able to make it. Oh, will it never carry last? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate you. And I appreciate my family here present, my junior brother here present. I thank you. I called you yesterday that they said they will be doing welcome and you are here early this morning. I thank you, Pastor Lukumi Akande from Gospel Faith Mission. I say thank you to you. God bless you. 
I thank everybody. If I cannot mention or I, maybe I didn't remember your name, please accept my thanks. The Lord whom you have honored will honor you in return in the mighty name of Jesus. I said the Lord whom you have honored will honor you in return in the mighty name of Jesus. Before I begin to draw my, the mic, I want us to look at Matthew chapter 13, verse 44. Matthew 13, 44, it says, Again, the kingdom of heaven is like unto treasure hid in a field, that which man, which when a man are found, he hid it. And for joy thereof goeth and selleth all that he hath, and buyeth the field. Let us be kingdom minded. Kingdom minded people are visionary. Kingdom minded people, they see something beyond the reality. Kingdom minded people, they see a picture of what could be and what should be. Kingdom minded people, they are not satisfied with the status quo and negative reports. They are not satisfied with it. The kingdom minded people, they expose evil before it explodes. Kingdom minded people, they see the kingdom of God as a progressive kingdom, always moving forward. Brethren, we want to thank God for a new dispensation. But let us be kingdom minded. And I believe because this calm should be kingdom of God or not. And my prayer is that it shall be so in the name of Jesus. Before I drop the microphone, as a national overseer, let me share just two, two more, two more uh, announcements. Number one, all workers and ministers in redemption camp parishes. We're going to have our meeting on Sunday by 2 p.m. All workers in redemption camp parishes will be having our meeting here on Sunday by 2 p.m. So after the dancing and everything, please let's make sure we are here by 2 p.m. And let 2 p.m. be 2 p.m. if your parish is in camp. Number two, all HOD to meet on Wednesday, 7 September, by 10 a.m. at our meeting place, Devotion Hall of the Secretariat. Before I drop the microphone finally, I want to appreciate my heart drop, the, the best queen in Akande's family, the woman that God had given to me almost 40 years ago, who had been following me from one place to the other. I appreciate you. The Lord will keep you. And I know in this new assignment, the Almighty God has been using you, will continue to use you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Shall we all rise and just give God the glory and say, Father, thank you. Hallelujah. May I humbly quickly invite our mommies, the wives of retired AGOs, to take photograph with the new national overseer and his wife. Please let's sit down, but let's clap our hands as these are mommies step forward. Clap your hands. May I also humbly invite our beloved daddy, Professor Ababa, to please, to please step forward and join this team. 
please let's clap our hands for this young man. Hallelujah. Please I understand that quite a number of us who have gifts for the new national overseer, you may please just line up somewhere around there and hand over your gifts. We also acknowledge the presence here of the national kitchen staff, the people who ensure that uh, food flows all the time, good quality food. Mamida Amala, where are your people? <laughs> okay, quickly step forward and take a photograph. National kitchen staff. They are the ones that make things happen. Hallelujah. Oh yeah, oh yeah, national kitchen. Just a photograph. You will be doing all the other things later. Oh, yeah, photographer. Do the needful. Two very important announcements. Have been made by the national. Okay. On the instruction of the new national overseer, the mighty men and women from Region 23, the Delta people, the Delta people. God, praise God. Delta people. Please, Delta people, go to your seats. Amen. All right, please. The only group now, before we say the closing prayer, will be the 
members of the family of the Akondes, members of the family on both sides, family members on both sides. See what the Lord has done. As I invite our assistant general overseer and continental overseer in charge of continent two, Pastor Ezekiel Odeemi, to say the closing prayers. Please let's clap our hands for Jesus. Please don't forget there will be technical advisory board meeting immediately after this program. Hallelujah. Let somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Shall we rise on our feet as we close this beautiful service in prayers? I want us to wave our hands to the Almighty God. Give him all the glory for the life of his son and daughter, for all that he's been using them to do all over the places from the moment they came to this organization. Let's give glory to God. Let's thank God on their behalf. And for this new assignment, this great assignment that God has given to them, Lord, we bless your name. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Heavenly Father, we want to give glory to your name today. We appreciate you for what you have done for your son, for your daughter, for all the members of their family. We thank you for how you have helped them all these years, all these decades, as they go from one place to another. How you have been sustaining them, how you have been watching over them, and until this moment that you have brought them to this position. Father, accept our thanks and praises in the name of Jesus. As your church, we have come together today to rejoice with them and to welcome them to this new assignment. Blessed Father, all the prayers of saints on their behalf today. Lord, we pray you will answer by fire in the name of Jesus. My Father, my God, the kind of success that they've never recorded before. We pray you will give to them in this assignment in the name of Jesus. My Father, my God, we pray in their time, the very purpose of this camp, your very purpose for your church in Nigeria, let it be achieved in the name of Jesus. Lord God of heaven, as they've been calling upon you, and you have been releasing vision into their, into their mind, we pray, King of glory, that what you have shown them shall become realities in the name of Jesus. We call for strength from above. We pray, even as they grow older, they will grow stronger. In that name that's above every other name, we pray, oh Lord, they will never be tired, they will never be weary, in the name of the Lord Jesus. Lord, we pray you will renew them on daily basis. And everything they desire from you concerning this work, you will release upon them in the name of Jesus. Everyone who has come to rejoice with them today, let there be things of joy in their lives also. And let your name be glorified forever. In the Holy Communion of tonight and the Holy Ghost service of tomorrow, show up for us again. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Blessed be your name. And in your kingdom we pray. Be found wanting in the name of Jesus.
Blessed be your name. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Shall we share the grace together in fellowship? One to go. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Say that to somebody beside you. Surely. Hallelujah. Please, please. It's time for the passing out and color party. It's over now to the chaplains. And please, all those who want to take photographs with the new national overseer can come immediately after now. Let's meet. Let's stay where we are. Let's stay where we are. Please. Let's stay where we are. Please, members of the Technical Advisory Board, don't forget your meeting inside the conference room here. Yeah. Region 23 people, wait and see Pastor Shoda in there, please. All members of this reception planning committee, please see Pastor Omishore right now. Every member of the reception planning committee, see Pastor Omishore right now.
There is a lost but found pause here, please. The owner should see us right away. a lost but fun post here. Yeah. Please, if you are the owner.